Hello, hello. Hopefully some of you uh, are here from the earlier YouTube live stream. How's everybody doing? I just woke up, as you can see. <laughs> Yo. Right now, I am here in uh, Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. I have a show tonight uh, with Intro Voice at the Red Deer Memorial Center. So, if you are watching this live stream uh, and you are near the area, please come over and uh, check it out. If you're watching this after the fact, then you missed out on a pretty good show. <laughs> okay, um, I am live streaming from my phone right now and in landscape mode, it's hard to go through the chat, uh, chat box. So I will do my best to keep up with all your messages and all that. If you have a burning question, you can always use the super chat function. That way I, I am sure to see uh, that question. Yes, this is a beautiful guitar. This is the Majesty Guitars Banawe Burst. I have a video demo of this guitar right here on my channel. Um, I can't put the links on. <laughs> I can put the link on right now, but it'll be somewhere here. Okay, click on the card above to go check this guitar out. Um, right now, I have this guitar set up in E flat. Most of my guitars are tuned to standard because I usually play in standard, but for tonight's show, we are playing in E flat. That's why I'm using this particular guitar. Um, just a quick rundown of the specs. This is an ash body with a thick quilted maple cap, a Schaller Floyd Rose, Schaller tune, oh no, Grover tuners, and maple neck, one piece maple neck, skunk stripe in the back, truss rod is uh, truss rod adjustment is location at, uh, at the heel. And it has DiMarzio pickups. This is a Saturate and this is a PAF Joe. Basically a Joe Satriani uh, DiMarzio signature set. Um, I will be shooting a demo video of these pickups pretty soon. Okay. Unfortunately, this hotel room does not have one of those little Bluetooth auxiliary music speakers, otherwise you'd be hearing this guitar. Uh, yeah, so I have nowhere to plug this guitar in right now. So I'm gonna have to do this unplugged. Okay, main reason for my uh, hopping onto this live stream today is to thank everybody for 80,000 subs. We actually hit 80,000 subs while I was up in the air traveling to <laughs> traveling here. So and it's um, it's amazing to me how quickly this the the channel is growing and I just wanted to thank all of you um, for all your support and I'm really really happy and appreciative that everybody's uh, enjoying the content that I'm putting out. Okay. So keep interacting with me, keep putting stuff in the comments, good or bad, funny or otherwise. I read every single one, rest assured. And um, I, try to, I try to reply to all the most pressing uh, questions and requests and all that. Okay, um, let's see. 
what can we talk about? I'll probably stop this uh, live video in around the 10 or 15 minute mark. So to uh, see to make them uh, to make the to give you the bang for your buck for this video for watching. Um, let me show you the uh, warm up exercises that I do. Um, whenever uh, the first time I pick up the guitar like today okay I'm just having my tea I just woke up and I have my guitar in hand and <laughs> playing guitar in front of my phone for all of you guys so anyway so first warm-up of the day would uh, let's see First thing I do is shake my hands, you know, get the blood flowing, wake up the hands a little bit. Okay. And then just crack your neck, you know, make sure because if you're if you just woke up then you gotta you gotta wake the uh, your whole body up. But yeah, so just do this, you know, wiggle your fingers get the circulation going okay and then and of course you got to make sure your guitar is in tune never play an out of tune guitar okay. uh, if you don't have one of these handy headstock clip tuners yet get one okay, okay. and then um, left hand warm up. Start with uh, your chromatic scales. You know, one, two, three, four on all the strings. It doesn't have to be fast. Just slow and steady, and with a good sound. Avoid avoid buzzing buzzing notes. And for the right hand, if you can already do it, make sure that you are playing strict alternate picking. Down, up, down, up. And also do your best to focus on the task at hand because I know once you get past the fifth fret or so it be it starts to become repetitive and somewhat boring but you just have to soldier on through it okay I usually just do that from the first fret until the 12th fret and when I get to the 12th fret, I make my way down. But this time, instead of starting with a downstroke, I start with an upstroke. Strict alternate picking. Make sure everything is clean 
and you have a good tone. If you find yourself buzzing the strings a lot, then you're probably playing faster than you should. Remember, your hands are still asleep, so you don't, you shouldn't uh, make them do something that they're not ready for. Okay, so the idea is to to gradually start preparing and warming up your fingers. Okay, so from here, shake your hands a little bit more, and then after you've warmed up, you can do a little a little stretching. So from what I do is I press my fingertips together and try to touch the base of my fingers against each other. And this stretches the fingers. Okay. And then from here, I touch both palms and I try to level out my forearms like this so that I stretch uh, the tendons at the wrist. Okay. Then I can go the other way, right? Touch, touch my wrist this way and do this slowly. Okay. You just want to stretch. So if you can't do this yet, if you just do, can just do that, then just stretch it to as far as it'll go. And then tomorrow, stretch it some more. Okay, you don't want to pull something or at the risk of injury, okay. And from there, I do my picking drills, um, focusing on the pick. So four strokes per string. Oops. And then upstroke. Then three strokes per string. Strict alternate picking, remember that the starting stroke for E string will also alternate. So you're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, then start with an upstroke. So up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Two strokes per string. Start with an upstroke. Okay, then one stroke per string, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then upstroke. Okay, so that takes care of a lot of, uh, <clears throat> that takes care of a lot of uh, picking issues. Okay. You can also, uh, once you're, once you're, uh, what do you call this, used to that picking exercise, you can start applying that to your uh, left hand shape. So we've already done the four strokes per string uh, with our chromatic exercise, right? So go to your three note per string scale shapes and work on the three stroke per string picking. and so on, okay? Uh, two strokes per string, that will be your pentatonic scales. Okay. One stroke per string, pick a chord, any chord that you like. Um, right now I'm going to play the A chord and pick one stroke per string. Can move the cord around if you want. And so on. Uh, a challenge for this drill is instead of letting the chord tones ring out like this, you can articulate your left hand. so that it, the chord sounds like a scale.
like this. It's almost like a sweep pattern, but not you're not sweeping. Ah. So that is uh, all alternate picking. And so on. Okay, what else? Um, <clears throat> from there, I work on my uh, left hand. <clears throat> Let's see, later on, I'll put a card above to my flying pinky exercise. and so on. And then you can also start working on uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. So for hammer-ons and pull-offs, I rest my right hand and just use my left hand. And what, it, what I do is I hammer and pull off on a specific string with just a single finger. So, hold on, let's do this. Okay. Index finger. Hammer and pull, middle finger, ring, pinky, alternate between two fingers, then do some odd finger combinations like two four three four two three okay uh, another thing I like to do is I take all the left hand shapes that I was picking earlier and I play it with just the left hand so for example the chromatic scale I hammer on every single note And then apply that, I apply that to my scale shapes, three notes per string. Okay, pentatonic. And so on. And uh, the next part is, think of this as uh the intense part of your workout it's like uh it's like running sprints so what you do is you do hammer on and pull offs as fast as you can but for short short bursts so we're going to do uh inter interval bursts interval speed bursts okay so fingers one and two maybe do it for like 10 seconds as fast as you can one and three Relax, one and four. And then two and three. And three and four. Oh, sorry, two and four. Three and four. One and four. Okay. So actually after that quick session, this part of your forearm starts feeling tight. So you want to rest and 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 loosen up your loosen up your arm okay don't do this for a long time so just you know that's not even 10 seconds that's maybe like five seconds one two three four five yeah five seconds three 
four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Especially three and four. That is very tiring to the forearm. Okay. Yeah. So by now your your hands should be nice and warmed up and ready to start doing some work. Okay. So after all that, you can start working on whatever it is, uh, whatever it is that is on the on the plate. So either work on your scales, or if you want to play a new song, you want to. Oh, Rob Scallon's here. <laughs> hey, buddy, how is it going, man? Um, I'm going to send you an email uh, or a PM soon. Uh, I believe I have an idea for a collab, so I will show you. I, I will show you what it is, and you'll dig it because you like you like all these weird instruments. And this is right up your alley too. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay. So. Now I can't wait to, to stop this live stream and check out the chat chat box. <laughs> How's it going, brother? Good day, sir. What can I do for you to give me a guitar? Save your money and buy your own. Okay, um, I'm going to start winding this down and yeah, enjoy that uh, guitar warm up session. Start applying it to your own playing. And it's always, remember, always, it's always important to warm up your fingers and hands to get, your, get ready for every guitar playing session, whether it be a gig or a practice session. Because otherwise, otherwise, you know, you will be prone to injuries and you will be hindering your uh, your playing progress. Okay, so always take care of your hands and, and everything else. Okay. Let's see, what's a good what's a good way to end this? Okay. Uh, everybody, I guess you can hear the guitar, right, acoustically? So I'm going to improvise on a chord progression. If you know uh, the song, put it in the chat room. Uh, I'm not going to say it out loud so that we won't be hit with uh, the copyright police.
Okay, bye everybody. Thanks again for 80,000 subs. Remember, 100,000 subs, we will be, well, I will be giving a guitar away. So stay tuned for that and uh, more videos to come very, very soon. Okay, so everybody have a good day and yeah, cheers. Practice makes perfecto. Get your t-shirt and uh, bye.